The last part of zoning I want to talk about are landmarks. A lot of townhomes, especially uh, brownstones and a lot of the town townhome fabric in Manhattan are landmarked. There's three different types of landmark district. I've included a little map uh, off of the OASIS website to show that. You can see that there's three main types and I've, I've written them on the side here and we'll, we'll go through them. There's scenic districts, there are historic districts and these little dots and sometimes they're diamonds are individual landmarks. Jumping to the first type, this is probably the most common that we'll be encountering a landmark historic district. District where most, if not all of the buildings exhibit some common traits that are of historical significance. This is a lot of what we call Brownstone Brooklyn is gonna fall into this category. A lot of West Village, a lot of Soho, a lot of Lower Manhattan is gonna fall into this category. If you do have any new exterior construction, they will have to conform fairly rigidly by the LPC's discretion. The next type is of district is a scenic district. This is a little more relaxed. It's similar. The buildings exhibit some mutual traits that are of significance, but new exterior construction has a lot more freedom. Uh, these are usually more common along boulevards, parkways, um, the edge of a large park, like the edge of Central Park, the edge of Prospect Park. Um, a lot more freedom here than with the, with the historic district. And the third type, which is very rare for, uh, for townhomes, but there are a few examples, are individual landmarks. And this is a particular building um, which is unique, is not necessarily within a district. And the LPCs considers, of, the Landmark Preservation Commission considers of great historical significance. Typically at a minimum, the exterior uh, shape of the building needs to be preserved. Sometimes, uh, only the front, sometimes the rear and the, and the side as well. Uh, rarely, but, but there are cases of it, are the, do the interiors need to be preserved? But yet yeah, it's usually only for public buildings, so probably not applicable to, to townhomes. 